has a totally different look at how the body works. Uh, we just finished up um, dissection of the cat muscles, and now we're going to go inside the cat and look at uh, the digestive system and how, <clears throat> where it is and how it looks. So when we look at the digestive system, you can call um, the actual tube, it's one long tube uh, from mouth to anus, um, and it's a closed system. You can call it the alimentary canal or the gastrointestinal tract, and that is where we are going to uh, digest and absorb any nutrients that we get from our food. The alimentary canal, so the actual tube <clears throat> that um, goes from the mouth to the anus, consists of the mouth, obviously, uh, the pharynx, which is basically the back of the throat, um, the esophagus, which is going to take food to the stomach, uh, the stomach, the small intestines, and the large intestines, and then it will go out of the um, anus. Now, in order to digest the food, we do have to have some accessory organs. So we need teeth to chew the food, tongue to um, move the food around, gallbladder, which produces bile, salivary glands, which produce um, an enzyme or a couple of enzymes to um, di start digestion, the liver, and the pancreas. <clears throat> this is what it all looks like, and it's going to look a little different in the cat, but you guys will get the gist. Um, so again, it's a closed system, so it's one tube from mouth to anus, and then there's a couple of accessory organs that are going to help out. So the GI tract, uh, tract is a disassembly line, meaning that we are going to take the food that we eat and we need to put it into, um, or we need to break it down into the parts that our body can actually use because we can't use the food in the form of the food that we eat. Um, there are six essential activities that we're going to talk about. We'll talk about each one individually. Ingestion, propulsion, mechanical digestion, chemical digestion, absorption, and defecation. So ingestion is just taking food into the digestive tract. So when you eat, you're putting it in your mouth. Um, propulsion is moving it. So we are going to swallow, <clears throat> you know, as you're, uh, when you chew the food, you're going to swallow the food, and then there's going to be a process called peristalsis. And peristalsis um, is the way in which the food is moved through the digestive tract or the GI tract. Um, and they are uh, smooth muscles that are going to contract and expand the organ wall so that it moves the food in one direction. Then we have mechanical digestion. And mechanical digestion is just basically mixing the food, chewing the food. You're not breaking it down chemically, but you are breaking it apart um, so that your body can then use enzymes to break it down. <clears throat> so then chemical digestion comes in, and that's the catabolic breakdown of food, meaning that we are going to break the actual bonds of the uh, different um, organic compounds that we're eating, and we're going to actually break it down into smaller pieces that our body can absorb. So then that leads us to absorption, <clears throat> where we are going to take um, the nutrients that we've gathered in our digestive tract uh, to the blood, and then the blood can take all of those nutrients um, to the cells throughout your different organs. And then defecation is the elimination of uh, whatever is left. So basically, um, defecation is going to be solid waste um, in which your body can no longer use. <clears throat> um, so now we're going to talk about the different parts. So our mouth um, is called the oral or buccal or buccal cavity. Um, it's bound by our lips, cheeks. Uh, palate is the roof of your mouth and your tongue. And um, we know that that's where we're going to be placing the food. <clears throat> Inside the mouth, mouth, we produce saliva. We have salivary glands. We have a, a, we have a couple of different types of salivary glands. Um, and what that is going to do is it's going to secrete um, a watery-like substance. Um, it's mostly water, as you can see. It's 97 to 99.5% water, slightly acidic. <clears throat> contains some electrolytes, but the biggest thing that it contains is um, a very important enzyme called salivary amylase. And enzymes usually um, end in the uh, suffix ASE, so you know it's an enzyme, and that is going to help us break down carbohydrates. And then it does have some waste material in it. <clears throat> 
So the processes that happen in the mouth, um, the food is ingested. We have mechanical digestion because we're chewing our food. We're propelling it um, towards the back of our throat so we can actually uh, start to swallow. We do have a little bit of chemical digestion in the mouth because salivary amylase is an enzyme that's going to break down starch, uh, which is a very complex carbohydrate. Then the pharynx and the esophagus only serve as conduits, meaning that it's just a passageway for um, food to pass from the mouth to the stomach. 